TLDR of the video if you didn't like watch it all the way through or if you skipped to the very end. Um, I'm just in a very, I guess, unfavorably, unfavorably good position in my life, if that makes any sense. different video but we're back at it again with a car vlog so if you like these videos um here you go you got another one um i just want to update you guys on my life right i mean you know whoever watches me um fucking covid has been you know this whole shit and we're still under the fucking umbrella that is the virus covid19 and, you know, shit isn't going to change anytime soon. By anytime soon, I mean, like, in a couple days or, like, weeks. Maybe, you know, hopefully by, by sometime this year, we go back to normal. But, you know, you got to do whatever you can. Um, me, personally, I lost my job to the virus. Uh, and, you know, I was jobless or whatever. I've been doing some stuff on my own. But I haven't had, like, a, a consistent flow of income a full-time income like I did before um, and then school you know I still did school I just I, I did school remotely um, online last semester I took a break this semester I didn't want to do any school um, just because I don't like online classes I don't like learning uh, it's just different and then especially with what I want to learn you know kinesiology I feel like that's more hands-on type stuff um, especially since I'm going to be uh, junior senior uh, the next semester that I'm, I'm going into and speaking about that um, I'm looking at transferring now, so I finished my uh, studying at the community colleges or the community college that I'm at, and I want to transfer out now. So I'm in Houston. Um, I want to transfer, preferably to UT Austin, University of Texas at Austin. Um, that's a school that like I I'm looking at, and like you know I want to be accepted there. But if I'm not accepted there, uh, it's no big deal. Hopefully I'm not out of frame. That doesn't bother you guys. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, I have like other schools that I'm going to apply to. I'm not just going to apply to the one. Uh, and, uh, you know, I thought about it for a while. You know, they say you don't need college to be successful. And I mean, you know, you you don't. But I want to continue my education. And right now I'm in a position uh, where I can continue my education for free. And, you know, in the future, I don't know if that uh, opportunity is going to be there um, because I come from a low income family. Um, we make a little bit of money, you know. Uh, and your boy is trying to fucking make money this this fucking year, this semester. Um, semester being, you know, whatever, however long the semester is, you know, for uh, school. Um, but I want to save up some money so I can so I can move out uh, once I transfer. Because all the schools that I want to transfer to, they're out. They're all out of Houston. So I'm gonna have to have some money saved up. I already have some money saved up, but I want to work right now because just. You know I don't want to be just at home doing nothing and you know I'm gonna be going into personal training um, I literally just put up a story on my Instagram my fitness and dedicated Instagram um, talking about like how I went to the high-end gym you know the last video that I made uh, I went to an Equinox if you haven't seen that go watch it um, and just a couple of minutes ago I'd say like 15 minutes ago I just came from like a, a local gym uh, not commercial gym you know family owned uh, small business type gym um, and I like it. I love it. You know, the people there, you know, they were really friendly. Um, the fucking dude that interviewed me and my friend, man, he was a fucking dick. And this woman who interviewed me, um, it wasn't even an interview. It was like a conversation. Just it was like a five minute conversation. She's like, all right, this is what I need from you. If you want to work here, um, here are all the stuff that we need from you. Here are the requirements. Um, and so I was like, wow, like, that's it. And she's like, yeah, that's it. It's just, you know, we don't. We don't, we're not a commercial gym. We're not trying to take your money away. Um, you know, all we ask is that you give us this and that's all. And you only need these things. And I was like, wow, I'm, I'm honestly like shocked because I expected more, you know, from uh, from this interview. And then she just said, it's only going to take five minutes. And I, I like semi-dressed up, I ca business casual, you know, because I didn't want to go in fucking joggers and a fucking, you know, t-shirt because I thought that was really, that'd be really unprofessional for me. And I think if I would have went like that, it would have been just fine. Um, but, you know, just to, you know, um, be cautious and, you know, be, be professional, I showed up, you know, with a, I already changed, um, but I showed up with, you know, a, a polo shirt, 
um, some khakis, a belt, you know. Um, but yeah, she was really laid back. Uh, she told me she's an IFBB pro, which I think is really cool. Um, they're a strength and conditioning gym, so that's like the uh, area that I want to go into. You know, I want to I want to start doing that in the future. Um, and that's basically my philosophy. You know, like I think people should get strong. Um, everybody, everybody benefits from getting strong. Um, no matter where you're at in life, you know, whatever age, sex, gender, whatever, uh, you know, age especially because, you know, if you're a fucking 60 year old, 70 year old, I'm pretty sure, you know, fucking get, I'm not saying like, you know, high level fucking world class competitor strong, but you know, if you gain some strength, that's just going to help you. Um, and I mean, you know, that's, that's just my philosophy probably uh it's going to be a little bit different once i start working and you know once i actually become like a, a strength and conditioning coach because that's what i want to be in the future um as of right now you know maybe my my uh, ideas change maybe my perception changes and everything um because it has from my from now back to when i was like 19 uh 18 especially uh all my ideas you know they flourish they grow they change um just with all the new information that I learn, uh, with all the new experience that I make, you know, you're always changing. So, you know, you're never going to stay the same. But yeah, I mean, that's basically where I'm at right now. Um, school, I'm not doing it right now. I'm going to return in the fall semester. So I'm doing my applications for the universities and everything. And that's like a whole process of it, in it of itself. Um, and then, you know, I have been looking at a couple places to go work at. I don't want to go back to a commercial gym because, uh, and I was talking about this with the people that interviewed me. Uh, they just they just want to fucking make you sell and sell and sell just for the sake of selling. Like they don't really want to help people. And and you know, working at the gym where I was at, I, was, I used to work at twenty four at a at a twenty four hour fitness. Working there, you know, it was fun. It was enjoyable. Um, but it just at a certain point, it was just kind of like a chore. And I want to say it was it was like that because. You know, I was working at the job that I wanted to work, but, you know, the idea, you know, the whole, um, the reason behind it wasn't to help people. It was for me to fucking just make money, just sell, 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 sell. And, you know, at any time I could get a sell in, it's like, you know, you take that shit. Um, but I believe, you know, when it comes to your passion, yeah, you can make money off of it. Um, but if you're not doing it for the right reasons, then even your passion, your hobby, your whatever you're into is, isn't going to feel right. Um, and, it, you know, just working at a gym, trying to sell personal training, that's part of the job, right? I mean, you know, even as a self, self-employed, self independent contractor, whatever, uh, sole proprietor, you know, you still have to sell on your own. But it's a little bit different because now you set your rates, you work with people, you seek them out, you actually talk to them. And instead of like trying to push for some fucking number that a gym has set on you for whatever reason, you're, you know, you're actually trying to help them and you make those connections, those establishments and, you know, something good comes out of it. But, you know, working at a gym, I, you know, I worked at two gyms in the past and my experiences there, um, one of them wasn't that good. Maybe I can make a video about that if you guys are interested. And then the second one was, second one was actually, you know, a really good uh, experience. I really enjoyed it. Um, I would probably be there still if it wasn't for the pandemic. Um, but you know, shit happens for a reason. Um, I, I wholeheartedly believe that, you know, life happens for you, not to you. You know, we're all put in certain circumstances and certain situations so we can learn to grow or we can grow and learn. Um, because I mean, you know, that's just how life is. I don't like to view life as, ah, shit, this is what happened to me. It's no, you know, this shit happened for me. You know, life put me in this position. Um, for a certain reason and you know it's up to us to find out what that reason was and i'm totally changing the concept of this video but hopefully you know you can you know um what's the word you can get the idea that i'm trying to put out you know um but yeah i mean that's kind of where i'm at right now um i'm the type of person that whenever i want to do something you know i put my all into it i'm really persistent um and I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure that if I start, you know, doing this, I go work for them. Well, I'm not actually working for them. I'm working with them. I'm a self, self-employed, uh, independent contractor, you know, using their facility. So I think that's really cool, you know, especially since I'm going to move out. I think that's probably the best option for me. Um, you know, I could invest in equipment and, you know, set it up at home. But then 
if I'm going to be out of Houston and I'm not going to be living at home, um, and I make that investment, you know, if I can, equipment isn't cheap, especially if you get, you know, good quality equipment, you don't want to get shit that's going to break and bend and like last you for like a year or two. You want to make sure you get shit that's like good quality, um, shit. So that, that's not, that's not fucking cheap. Bar, a barbell, just, just a fucking barbell, an Olympic barbell, um, a good one they start off like at $200 and then you know if you get a rack like a power rack they those should start off at like $500 um and you know I've done a little bit of research you know I could get a fucking half power rack um which is a little bit cheaper but still you know it's still an investment and then the thing that I would fucking spend on the most would be the fucking weights because you know one set of weights like let's say I get a pair of 45 pound weights those shits are gonna cost me like 120 150 possibly and you know you, you want to make sure you get enough weights to one you know if i'm gonna buy equipment i'm gonna buy equipment so i can use it as well um and then I, I need to make sure i have like enough weight for myself and then for uh the other people whoever i'm training um and then, you know i gotta i gotta buy mats that way um i don't break the fucking floor if i end up you know dropping away for whatever, whatever reason you know uh, so, I mean, you know, I, I've been thinking this shit through. Um, I think it's time to, to come back because I don't think uh, the virus is going away anytime soon. And, you know, if I'm just at home, like, not doing anything, um, I'm just being unproductive. And, you know, I, I'm just, I'm tired of it already. So I, I want to go back. I want to get my foot back in the door. I want to get some experience under my belt. I talked to Dad Lifting. Shout out to Dad Lifting. And he gave me some really good, really good advice. Uh, he said, you know, it's better to get some experience and you know leave it because you know if i start personal training um right now i'm gonna have to leave my clients down the road because if i leave houston to go study um i like i said all the schools that i'm like interested in in, in going to and the possible schools that have a higher chance of uh, being accepted at and um all that shit they're outside of houston i could go to you know the university of houston here downtown um but i you know i looked into it you know their programs are good it's just uh the money you know financial aid you know I, I wouldn't be able to pay for shit i wouldn't be able to pay for any schools um i'm <laughs> being poor has been a blessing to me because i've received scholarships i've been able to you know get into different programs i've been able to do different types of shit um where like if i was just if i was like middle middle um middle class i probably wouldn't have received all the shit that uh i've received and you know they have like different promise programs at different schools where they you know if you make under a certain level of income they completely pay your tuition uh which i think is really cool those are the schools that i'm like more interested at going to because you know uh one why why fucking not you know you get a whole ass degree for free um why not you know gotta take advantage of that and then you know pull myself out of this hole that is being poor so i mean you know you don't need a degree like i said you don't need it will it help i i believe so you know you will make different um friends you'll meet different people you meet different you know professionals in that field that you're going into so you know it's more than just education it's all the shit that comes with it and of course you know if you go to you go to a good school um they're gonna have you know good quality professor to teach you you might not you know you might get a shitty professor at a fucking good school it just kind of depends you know nothing is perfect so you know it's all a gamble um but still i want to go to school i want to continue school because right now under the certain certain circumstances that i'm in um i'm like in the best position for school and you know as far as like working you know we're still under the fucking pandemic um as i believe houston is one of those cities that's a little bit more like laid back um not to get political or anything um but you know democratic states republican states i think texas uh is considered a republican state and um most republic most republican states uh for the most part they like have opened up uh a bit you know and so they're kind of more relaxed you know i mean you know you go anywhere in houston like you know people are still wearing their masks small businesses are doing okay um you know you go to restaurants like there's a shit ton of people it's like nothing is going on you know the only thing that's different is that the, that they're wearing masks um and you know social distancing and you can't have a certain number of people in in the building at a certain time but honestly like who who, who really cares like um i'm not saying don't care i'm saying like as far uh, those businesses do they really care 
you know, I'm pretty sure they do to an extent, but they want to receive as many people. They want to make money, you know, so why wouldn't they take in as many people as they can? So they're just going to follow the guidelines as closely as possible um, without, you know, breaking the rules. So Ooh, it's, I think, a day after. Yeah, it's the day after I started recording that video. And TLDR of the video, if you didn't like watch it all the way through or if you skipped to the beginning, um, I'm just in a very... I guess unfavorably unfavorably good position in my life if that makes any sense um you know considering everything that's going on in the world you know i'm able to pursue education without having to pay for it i'm able to you know start work again um i found that spot i've, I've uh, talked to them we're in contact and everything and also my channel you know the videos that i make i kind of want to change some stuff because i mean yeah I, I just feel like the stuff that i put out there is pretty much like information that's already readily available for people you know it's a quick google search or whatever i'm still going to put out you know information like you know fat loss weight loss muscle gain all the you know basic you know fitness more weightlifting type bodybuilder type strength training type powerlifting type stuff but I also want to like add other things because that's you can only say so much like how many times can you say in order to lose weight you have to be in a calorie deficit in order to gain weight you have to be in a calorie surplus like how many times can you really say that I want to also help people you know with their personal life struggles with their you know mental struggles emotional struggles social whatever because yeah I mean fitness and health is more than just physical and I've always said this I've always said it in my previous videos there's more to it than just looking good because you know if you're not mentally emotionally there you know you could be the fucking shredded mr olympia but if you're fucking depressed and you have no friends and shit then it's like what's the point you know life is more than just having six-pack abs and looking good and flexing on social media so yeah that's the kind of the direction i want to go into and i also want to sprinkle in some stuff this is my channel that's why it's oscar penaloza and it doesn't say like something fitness or whatever i am going to talk about what i want to talk about so i feel like i kind of put myself you know, I kind of set a limit there on myself because I kind of centered, you know, my channel around fitness. I do want it to be centered around fitness because, I mean, that's what I like. That's what I am going further into, you know, in the future. But this is Oscar Penalosa's channel. So if I can add some other stuff, you know, that's like related to me, you know, then I will. And also, I think I'm going to try to keep editing to a minimum just because like I do edit on my phone and sometimes it can be really hard to like you know edit shit um and then my phone can't really take too much editing so if I can like you know take a little bit of editing away and you know make uploading a little bit easier for myself then yeah I'm gonna do it and plus I only have like what less than 100 subscribers so I don't think editing is such a big deal right now if anything I just need to put more content be more consistent um people will watch me for me and for them for, for the information I put out and the things I have to say if you can't watch me for me whenever I'm talking about things that I want to talk about, then what is editing going to do? Like, what is that really going to change? You know, how is that really going to change what I'm trying to say? You know, it's probably going to add a little bit of an entertainment value, but then people aren't actually going to be watching me for the stuff that I have to say more so for the editing, you know? And I don't want that. I want people to listen to what I have to say and not just show up just because I have like nice little edits, nice little B-roll, nice little music or whatever, good transitions and shit. I record on my phone. I edit on my phone. So that shit can get like really complicated really quickly. So, mm -mm. Also, you know, I apologize to anybody or everybody because I have been falling behind on the videos. Um, I have had, you know, tenants or not tenants. I had a tenant come in, move in with us. So we had to like go and he's like an older man, senior citizen. He's like 80. So we had to help him take his stuff out from his house. And like that took a couple of days because we had to go back and forth. And like we don't have a truck. So we have to like use my sisters and shit. So that's been going on. Um, finally, we're all set it in. He's in here or whatever. It's all good. Um, and then I've been, you know, job hunting. I went to that spot. Um, I think I think. I like pretty much landed the job, you know, not landed the job because I'm not working for them. But, you know, I'm pretty sure uh, in like maybe the next week or so I'm going to be starting with them soon. So uh, there's a possibility that I might be uploading a little bit less. I'm going to try to like I said, I don't want to be focused so much on editing. Um, I really just want to like record, put out the video and have as minimal editing as, as possible for my part. You know, just because like I said, I record on my phone, I edit on my phone and sometimes this shit cannot handle it. And I've had videos in the past where it just kind of glitches. So, yeah. Just a quick little update. So yeah, TLDR, um, I have good opportunities. I can go to school for free. Um, I'm in a really good, unfavorably good spot in my life. And yeah, I mean, you know, I think, you know, the future holds a bright, I don't know, the future is good for me, if that makes sense. So yeah, guys, I appreciate your support. I'll see you in my next video.